Maybe you've seen all of these videos about minimalism and decluttering and when you've done all of those things, everything just seems awesome and amazing and completely, completely wonderful. But nope, reality doesn't work that way. In reality, you probably won't choose to get out of the sofa and go decluttering instead of just staying in there and eating popcorn. So that's why we should improve a little bit at a time. Doing a 1% improvement every day will result in being 37 times better in a year. So this week we will do something every day in order to get organized and at the same time tackle some problem areas in your life in a really simple way. And I mean like really simple, everyone can do it simple. On Monday, the first thing we will do is to adopt the two minute rule. And that is everything that takes two minutes or less, just do it right away. When you go past those dirty dishes just pick them up and put them away this is the best way if you're wondering how to get organized it will save you time and make you get organized in the shortest amount of time possible you pretty much won't even do any active work so starting this Monday you will start bringing stuff with you when you move past them if you see they're out of place when you walk by a table that is dirty just go get the dishcloth and clean it up just in the moment if you walk by your plant that needs watering just go and water them fill up a bottle and water your plants and then it's not going to remind you every every single time when you move past that flower again on tuesday your wardrobe is a common problem for a lot of people having a wardrobe full of clothes but nothing to wear and as much as i personally love watching wardrobe clear ads, maybe that's not possible to do on a tuesday after work however one thing that you can do to get organized is to move all the clothes that you don't wear or don't like to another location you don't have to throw them away you don't have to get rid of them you just have to move them you know all of those things that you don't wear things that are broken that you're planning on getting fixed an old party dress that you never wear clothes that don't fit the old sweater that your grandma gave you that you love but you don't wear just move it to another location so that is out of sight out of mind and as i said you don't have to get rid of things because i believe that is one thing that is stopping a lot of people from actually clearing out their wardrobes because there's so much feeling so much memories in the clothes that is really hard to get rid of but if you separate your clothes by clothes that you actually like and that you wear and then you can store the other clothes like in the same way that you might store your summer clothes in the winter and your winter clothes in the summer. This will leave you with a wardrobe with things you like, things you use and in general it will just make you feel better. And then in a couple of months time you can go through the clothes that you moved and see if there's something that you should get rid of or if maybe you found some love for the items again or maybe go to the tailor and actually fix that item you've been planning on. And to be real with you I don't think you'll miss any of your items that you've actually moved away. So for Wednesday, you know what truly organized people really have under control? Their finances. And the thing is, that is so easy to do these days. You don't even have to put that much mind into it. So what you should do is to get an app that tracks your spendings. If you're like most people, maybe you have a budget, but the really hard thing is to keep track of that budget and see what you actually put out every month. I use an app called Slantar, which is a Swedish app, so it might not work for, that, for other countries, but I know there are tons of apps out there. So just go to the app store and have a look at what apps are available and you will find one that suits you. And the thing that you wanna have is an app that automatically tracks all of your expenses and preferably from all of the different banks that you use because a lot of people use a lot of banks. I have like three different and it's pretty much impossible to keep track of everything if I don't have it collected in one place. And actually these days some uh, banks also have that you can connect other banks to it. That's a really good thing. So explore a bit what's out there and just set it up so that you get an overview of your finances. 
and in some months time you will know exactly where you can cut back on some costs in order to save money and live your life according to your values. Thursday, so one of the best things for how to get organized is to go through a problem area like Tupperware falling out of the cupboard, a closet you don't even want to open, a cell phone that is crowded with apps or maybe a computer desktop that just looks like crap. I think you know what some of your problem areas are and this Thursday you're going to tackle one of them. So what you should do is to go through it and move everything out of its place, make the place empty. Might be difficult depending on what your problem area is. If it's on your phone maybe that's difficult but it's the best way usually to get an overview of what stuff you actually have and in general get an overview of the situation at hand. Then you should remove things that you don't like, you know that you're never going to use again and throw it away, delete it, remove it, give it to a friend, whatever you need to do with it so that it's out of your space. And then organize the things that you're going to put back. So give it a system. If it's the apps on your phone, make different folders so that you know exactly where you need to go. Have a finances folder, have a games folder, have a work folder so that you know every time exactly where you need to go and put things back in its place. And when you've done that, look again, do you really need everything in this category? Like, do you really need three exact copies of the same thing now that you've gone through it all? Maybe you don't, so maybe you can get rid of just one more thing that's awesome. And voila! A big chunk of problem is out of your life and you just spent one evening to do it. And you will feel so much more relaxed and this problem just doesn't exist anymore. On Friday, the thing you should do to get organized is to go through the images in your phone and delete duplicates. We all want to keep beautiful and funny pictures, but the thing is, if you have a gazillion of them, then you're not going to look at them because it's going to be information overload. If you have a thousand different copies of the exact same picture, then you're not going to look at it. So spend some time deleting pictures in your phone, I know you probably won't get through thousands and thousands of pictures, but at least you can get rid of some. And it will be a fun thing to look through your old pictures and walk a bit down memory lane. And this will also make it easier for you to look through the pictures later because then you will just have one copy of each picture and it will be easier for you to send pictures to friends, know what to post on Instagram or whatever you want to do with your pictures. And remember, you only really need one picture of like the same setting, not 30 different or four different or even two different because there's probably going to be one picture that you like more than the others. So you're not going to use those others for anything else. You're just going to pick that one over and over again. So just keep the one that you will like. For Saturday, we're going to tackle another major problem area, which is papers. Ah, oh, papers is just laying everywhere. I freaking hate papers. And one thing that me and my partner have done to get organized is to sort up all of our papers and made a simple system that is super easy to use and makes it really easy for us to know what papers we have and to put them away. With papers it's the same thing as with everything else. You need to make sure that every paper has a home and that it's easy to put away. Because before I had a folder in which I had to like, you know, use one of those, is it called a hole stamp? And like punch hole, not hole puncher, and punch holes in it and put it in the file folder. <clears throat> and you know, that's just really messy and takes a lot of time. So the papers just piled up and then I just had to spend a lot of time at like one time to get that all away and them just making a mess in the meantime. So we want to avoid that. So the thing that we did for paper organization is that we each got ourselves one of these file folders. I think these are just great um, because the thing is that you can label them and have all of these different papers and you, you can also throw in loose items. You can't do that in a binder. These are much more simple. So I've labeled them a lot of different things. So we have bank and loan, work, um, our old company, um, our accommodation, school, insurance, um, taxes, 
and then car and then general just images and things that we I've been sent so I have a lot of different like images and you know like birthday cards and things like that then I have important receipts I need to save and then health documents and it's so easy you can just throw things in here if you need somewhere to store paper in the meantime then get a paper tray that's just a really nice way to get the paper out of your like everyday area and have a home for it until you've had a chance to actually look at it and then you put them into folders simple as pie so for sunday if you ever wonder how to get organized and be an organized person for real i will tell you the secret to it which is life admin days and this will most likely change your life i think it's just a, such a good idea so one day per month or whatever suits you, have a life admin day. This is something that I've learned from Michelle B, link down below, and that I absolutely adore. So list small bits and bobs that you've been putting off and write them down on a list. Things like booking that dentist appointment that you've been putting off, hang up that painting, do the laundry, you know, all of those things that require a little bit of effort, but it's really good to bash them together and just get it done in one go write it down and do them this Sunday. And don't overdo it this week. We said we would keep it simple, but check off two or three of those things that you've been putting off and then plan for your next admin day uh, up ahead and start writing things down to that list. You know you will have to get fixed in that day. Do those things that have been bugging you and you will feel so much clarity by the end of the day. If you're still feeling up to doing some more organization, then check out this video on how to get your files and folders under control. Thank you so much for watching. Go get organized and I'll see you in my next video.